always doing it. No, Lorraine, it's too much. It's too much. Look, I need these lot to go home. I don't fancy being on duty a second day in a row. <sighs> Come on, you young ones. <laughs> I'm still young, thank you very much. Uh, you know what I mean, you want me at night. Oh wait, what's the idea told me your day was a complete bite of strawberry panda pop, cheesy Doritos and Kinder Bueno? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the nostalgia. Exactly, this is their time to make those kind of memories. Why would be such a grouch? Well look, at least I know that their snacks don't bang nearly as much as ours did from back in the day, eh? Uh, Dex, I'm telling you, younger than you, you're back in the day, ancient history to me. How? Talk about putting salt in the wound. Are you my kids? Wait a minute. Hey! When? When? Come out! You better turn back. Turn back. I spoke to your teacher. I know you've got a 45 minute detention. And if you don't turn back, I'll give you a Saturday. Turn around. Go back. Go back. Hi, Bakiti. I've had enough of these children. No, you must tell them. You must tell them. Don't tell me about after hours. They must have slept. And I had two more pages left, and you just gave me No, that's true. I'm not going to do it because she's so annoying. Oh, and then imagine, yeah, Miss Trap all the paper on me as if I was some garbage. Yeah, I saw it's that. It's cool. done out here. And let's wait for them now. Yo, what are you me? telling me? Bare long faces. You, man, come and go shop, though. I know, man. Why do we have to do the same thing again every single day? Stop complaining, man. Every day, more, more, more. Don't touch my bike, are you dumb? No reason you're trying to touch your bike. I can't even ride to bed, said you for fooling. Oh, don't touch my bike. Who's black lives matter? That's why I still gotta do it for my brothers. Can't hit that, so I don't know what man's doing in the covers. Mothers, over them sides, they're runners. On the field, should I do it like gunners? A time where it all goes off, still gotta watch for the undercovers. Who's black lives matter? That's why I still gotta do it for my brothers. Can't, can't hit that, so I don't know what man's doing in the covers. Mothers, over them sides, they're runners. On the field, should I do it like gunners? Oh, so I heard that Tamika got caught smoking up doing CPC with the six forms on Friday. What's CPC? Don't for pop up, you're supposed to demand the link up and smoke. How do you even know that? You're such a gas bag. Wait, I like your big bro got caught smoking up. Huh? Yeah, he got caught up doing puff puff pass at the church car park. One idiot actually died. Bro, who the hell in their right mind does puff puff pass with a year nine you? People need to go to jail for that. Her mom's so nice, always cooking us food, but now what? Exactly, if my mom caught me, I'd get licks. Me, I'll see another day. Guys, we need to pick up the pace. I'm dying to get my crisp. So what, you just come to school, clown around, and then you have to go shop apart? Don't diss my ritual, and I get good grades, so shut up, innit? Hold on, let me just look for the list of people that actually asked about your grades. Nobody. Oh, oh. you got a fish, you know? You're excited, innit? Listen to how this boy is talking about bang your face. Honestly, <laughs> yes, exactly, because Lord knows I want my sensation. sensation. Exactly, my people know me. Now let's go. Wait, I can smell my tasks with chili kiss from here, you know. You sound just like Mr. Moyo, the way you talk about your sensations, Chris. Yeah, he's always on about yeah. his after school ritual. He got the extra heated Doritos. Cheesy Doritos, actually. Yeah, and the Kinder Brain was a panda pop, I've heard. But I like comparing me to him, though. You know who Miss Hardly are doing at the corner shop, right? Oh, come off it. Let's just go home. Hey, oh, love room, my J. God forbid. Why would you say something like that? I'm not waiting until four to get into the shop. You know they'll give us a hard time, and it's usually because of you. Yeah, I can't lie. Every time you go to the corner shop, you try and get the same discount from most man. It is called having a business mindset. Check your nogga. Why don't you just all look by the box, bro? What are you talking about, you clown? It's a beautiful struggle getting my Thai sweet chili crisps every day. If you're riding, then you're riding, innit? If not, you're an op. Ah, oh, stop that, man. Why does everyone have to be an op? Are you coming or not? Let's just go. You boys do this rubbish every single day, yo. <laughs> Thank you.
just me? You! Boy! <laughs> Are you talking to me? I hope you're planning on paying for that. What are you talking about? Of course I am. Now, if you'll excuse me... You're being aggressive. Shopkeeper, this little man is threatening me and all I'm trying to do is make sure that he pays for that. Carafoot <laughs> Solomon is aggressive. <laughs> it is not funny. Also, this thief is in my personal space. And why are you not practising social distancing? Um, are you actually OK? He is not a thief and he is not aggressive. He's a 40-year-old boy, a child. He is an aggressive hooligan who is about to make off with stolen goods. I mean, first it's sweets, then it's crisps. Then, before you know it, you lot will all be involved in organised crime. I was always taught to be polite, but people like you make me angry. See? They're always angry and just trying to cause trouble. Who are you calling they? I would have expected better from you, especially. Hanging about with these degenerate lowlifes. Hold on a minute. Is she tapped? The general law lives. I lead you. I'm calling the police. You are being aggressive. Shopkeeper, these kids are thieves and they are stealing from you. Do you not know that big supermarket chains are starving local corner shops like this of business? Then you just come in here, waltz in the place like you own it, and you loot it for all it's got. Shameful. I mean, where in civilised humanity have you seen anything like that? British Empire. Your ancestors. Come with me. That's what let, let, let it go. Come with me. Let it go. Let go. Come over here. What? What do you mean? What's going on? I am being attacked on your premises. And you are doing nothing about it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come down, guys. Come down. Come down. So, what are you going to do? What do you want to do? I call the parents. You see the band? Great, fantastic. I've known you my whole life. That's awesome, oh, right. man. Yeah? Better you find another corner shop, yeah? Why do I need to do that when you're going to call their parents and tell them that they're bad? No, he's my kid, yeah? He's not doing nothing. OK? You white and yes, raise it. Me? Why? Yes. Yeah, white and raise it. Yes. That's it. Yes. You don't want to come back in the shop. Yay! What? Bye, Karen. Yeah, better. Yes, yes. 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 Bossman, Buster, Zip, 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 She wanna dance with the GBGs Honey, we don't dance We dance with smoke When we're doing up all the France How you gonna say we don't bang in these streets? How? We're charged Don't make me laugh We had man screaming out all my lord She wanna dance with the GBGs Honey, we don't dance We dance with smoke When we're doing up all the France How you gonna say we don't bang in these streets? We're charged Don't make me laugh We had man screaming out all my lord Ah, yes, it is yeah, the that. black top, bro. Oh, the black top. I like that spot. Black top. And the green bag, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, she's right. Where is she going? Where is she going? Where is she going? Is she following us? <laughs> oh, 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 Admonish me, but don't demolish me. Raise me, not drown me. Demonize nor defile me. Accused of being an aggressor by an age old systematic predator. Taught to speak politely. Say please and thank you rightly, but somehow this problem isn't entirely better. 
caught in a predicament and the bottom line is I still have my morals. Perception versus reality can make me question my laurels. Revenge is so tempting, ignorance can feel like a blessing. But who am I on the inside insists that I do the right thing? My name is Kamali Roy and I'm 12. I didn't know I could like be in a movie. I thought I was never gonna be in one. My experience is like me f like being a black on a camera and my first time like being like proper on like a movie scene and stuff. My name is Tavia and I am 13 years old. My experience on set has been tiring, but the outcome was very good. I think it's good because there's a lot of Karens out there like in the world and like they're obviously going to be triggered from this but hopefully they can learn a lesson in our short film. My name is Nassan Ponsal Faria and I'm 14 years old. My experience filming on set has been um, very good seeing as it's my first time. Um, everybody's been very nice. Every, like, everybody knows about Karens and how they are but I feel like if it was in like a movie or a film it would like get the message, m message across more to young people and everybody around the world. My name is Ariana and I'm 14 years old. My first experience of being in set is actually a good experience because you get to meet new people and like it's fun. I think the topic of Karen is a good subject because it can change other people's attitudes towards others. I was with like a group of people, we were having fun like just hanging out outside in the streets and then maybe a Karen just came and said oh your music is too loud or you shouldn't be doing this in public. I feel like the moral of the story is that either way um, it doesn't matter of your colour, of, like the, your colour yeah, your skin colour should like, like, I don't know, like maybe people shouldn't be accusing, accusing you for doing the wrong things just because of colour. My name is Jay Sean, I'm 12. What's your favourite experience about being an actor on set? You know, just some of the lines, they're funny. You mess around with the cast. Go on, what's the fun line? It was the, it was the start, where it was Aaron that was like, stop, you know, he was like, why do I have to do the same thing every day, every single day? And then suddenly he was like, stop complaining, man, every day more, more, more. <laughs> What do you think the moral of this story is? To not be racist. People who are current, how did that make you feel? It's, it's not good, like, we've been past, it's been going on for too long. My name is Samuel and I am 14 years old. For instance, what happened to Karen has actually been okay and I've um, learned to be patient and get to know other people. Yeah, I've had fun that thing, yeah. I think the moral of the story is um, it's not always good to judge people by what they look like. Well, it was loads of fun, first of all. Um, brilliant crew, uh, so friendly. I uh, have to say that the kids were brilliant. I mean, you would not have known that you weren't working with professional child actors. I just thought, oh no, I've got to, you know, it's so difficult to play a part like that when she is horrible and uh, not someone that you want to ever be like, let alone even really know someone like that. So it took me a while to get into it, but the more we did it, the more horrible I got. And um, once obviously I realised that the kids knew it wasn't me, um, it all got, it was much easier. But at the very beginning it was, it was quite, it was just horrible to be that nasty. Well, I think that when she got knocked over by the car, she suddenly saw people running to help her and they were the kids that she had been talking to in the shop and being hideous to and uh, she had to question her world view at that point and she um, has to realise that her assumptions about them, her hideous racist ideas were actually wrong. 